Hello friends, Heather here, and today I thought I'd show you how to create a tiny Halloween tag using my digital class sheets. So I am going to start out using a tag base Halloween one. Um, this is the small ones. This is what the large size is. So here's the comparison between the two sizes, just so you know. And then I'm going to use one of my little banners. And this is a curvy banner, and it comes with my um, tiny swallowtail Halloween banner set um, and it has the coordinating little banner so that's this size so anything that you pretty much put on this tag is also going to fit on this little tiny um, Halloween banner and here is one that's finished you can see the little tiny tag back there or the little banner and then that's the background all right I'm also going to use one of my baddie pumpkins from my new set and I'm using my Halloween embellishment set which is the little calendar the 31st candy corns and my butterfly um, and then uh, what I did is if you already purchased it which um, some of you have I uh, went ahead and I made a new set up to go with it and it's um, it's just easier to print out so like if you want to use a lot of butterflies all the butterflies are on one sheet with the larger candy corns and the little 31st and I have all the moons on another sheet and all the calendars on a sheet and then that way you just print out what it is you need otherwise you can print out the original sheet which works well too I'm also going to use um, one of my Halloween circle focals and these are just like little simple tags and then I have little Halloween words that you just would put here and then you just put it on your tag to make a easy quick tag. So let's see, today for my sentiment I'm going to use my tiny text boxes. I haven't printed any of these out in a while but I really like the um, look of these so I went ahead and um, printed out a set. And these come, I get, you get five different colors, I believe, for five bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. All right. So I have cut out all my pieces and I've inked all my edges with Ranger's Distress Ink and Frayed Burlap. So I'm going to find some glue and then I'm going to get started. Okay, I just added some glue to my little tiny banner here and I have glued it across the bottom. And I added a little glue to my um, October calendar. Actually, it was my little cat piece here and I am just gonna kind of put this on here the way I think I want it to go because I want to let's see this looks pretty good and then put that like right here and I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna paste it down quite yet I'm gonna add some glue now to my little candy cane which comes from I believe it's my Pugsley set the ghost Pugsley and Witch, tiny witch tag set, super cute. Oh, hard to pick up this little candy cane. Um, so it looks like this actually. Here's the Pugsley tag. It comes with the embellishments for two tags that are full size and then like some smaller ones. So uh, let's see if I can grab the other one. It's like stuck behind all my stuff. So you get like big candy canes, little candy canes, middle sized candy canes. Okay. And I'm going to put this right there. Cool. All right. Might need to put a little more glue here. So I'll just do that real quick. Give it a good smoosh. And if you wanted, you could... Um, just glue down the sides and then you could pull the candy cane in and out which I do that with a lot of my uh, pieces but since it's just gonna be a little tag I'm just gonna leave it on there for now all right I am gonna use my little 31 right here find myself some pop dots real quick add those because I think I'm gonna make those pop up for fun okay so probably like two pop dots should be good. Okay, and then let's see. I'm gonna put that like right about there, I think. And I'm also gonna use my little tiny candy corn in the same location. So I'm gonna add some glue to my candy, it's candy corn, sorry. So used to saying candy cane. So, adding some glue to my candy corn. 
I'm just going to kind of offset it here like this. So it'll be a little duo thing here on the side. Take off my little tabs. Set this right here. Yeah, let's see. Maybe I'll move it up just a little bit. Super cute. And I'm going to do some um, little pop dots that come on a sheet like this, the little foam squares. And I'm going to put some on here too. Actually, maybe I'll. I'm not sure if that's going to actually be on the paper, so there we go. I'll just go with two and remove those. Okay. Oh, I glue on my paper. That's why things were sticking. And I'm going to put that right, I think, whoops, right here. Yep, super cute, super cute. All right, and then I have my little baddie pumpkin, which I'm going to put up here. And I think I'll leave him flat, pretty much. I think that'd be a good idea. Although he might look cute, kind of elevated. Eh, I'll elevate him. Why not? So I'm going to grab some more pop dots. So... Put one more in here. Oops, where was I think? Right there. Or maybe here. Well, I'll just put it in the middle. Okay. Oops. I'm going to remove all these little pieces. It can be a pain sometimes, but they're very useful. All right. So, I don't want to cover up my October. So, let me see. Yeah, that looks super cute. Love it. Here's a close up. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to cut out some tiny text and I'll be right back. Alright, I cut out my little tiny text text boxes here and I'm gonna take my um, pop dots and I just kind of cut them in half sometimes because I'm gonna raise the text too so you can see now how I have like a little sliver of a pop dot and I'm gonna put that on the back of my text boxes so here we go so I've got my little O here I'm just gonna stick that on and then pop off the paper backing I can get it. There we go. And then I'm just going to add this to the other two that I already did because I am not good at holding little tiny letters and put them on. So there is my little boo sentiment. Super cute. All right, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and get some glitter and I'm going to punch a hole here in the top of my crocodile. So we'll see if I can find that real quick. Let me usually give it a little. There you go. Super cool. All right. Cute, cute. I will be right back. All right, I have my Designer Dries Clear Glue from Art Glitter as well as my Fine Tip Applicator. I'm going to add a bead of glue actually right here. Hopefully. Maybe not. Let's see. Oops, there we go. And one about right here. I decided to add a couple little embellishments here. So I just have a button with some baker's twine. I'm going to add there. And I got a little tiny mulberry rose in ivory that I'm going to tuck right in there. Okay. And I'm going to use 
a couple different glitters. So I'm going to use, um, let's see, probably some pumpkin glitter, number 56, Lion's Mane, number 196, let's see, Autumn, number 165, and let's see, hmm, Halo, number 230, and possibly some Fauna, 208. All right, and I just wanted to show you real quick my little baddie pumpkin that I did the other day because I'm going to try to do it the same way just so you can see the colors. Um, this is the pumpkin, this is autumn, and then I used actually the lion's mane around the hat piece instead of the fauna, and it's really cool and vintagey. Love how that turned out. So I'm going to try to do the same thing here on my little pumpkin. So I just got to let my glue dry, and I'll be back. All right, I have my extra piece of paper here so I can catch all my glitter, excess glitter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> put some little lines here on my candy cane with the glue. And then I'm also gonna put some, let's see, I think I'll put some here on my little bottoms of my words, maybe on the tops too. Sometimes I outline the whole box, but I'm not really feeling it at the moment. And then I'm going to put some at the tip of my candy corn. All right. And I think that's good. I'm going to use the fauna glitter. I like to have the extra sheet just so I can um, put all my excess glue or glitter back in its container. All right, set that off the side. And let's see. Got a little soft brush here so I can get the excess off any areas I don't want it. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and do the lion's mane. So let's see, I think I will do my um, calendar here. Got to get my glue going. There we go. And I'm going to do the hat here. And my little clock. And I think that's it. Okay. I don't know why I sat that down. I just kept it in my hand. <laughs> All right. All righty. Grab my excess here. And set that aside. All right, and now I think I'm going to go ahead and do some orange just to really make it um, punch. So let's see. I guess I'll start down here. 
with my banner piece. And then I'm going to come up here and do some stripes on the candy cane. Come over here to my pumpkin. And my other banner. And the center part of my candy corn. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to use my pumpkin glitter. Okay. Oh, it's looking super cute and sparkly now. So, oh yeah, I'm loving it. All right, I'm going to let this dry and then I will do the black. So. All right, I went ahead and I added a whole bunch of glue all over on my piece here. Um, you'll see I did around the tag base itself. And right here, did the wings, little dot on the hat, dots on the inner focal butterfly, and then down here as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the autumn glitter. And I'm gonna have to go back and add um, some orange to my butterfly. So I am gonna let this dry and then I will be back. All right, I'm super happy with how my little tag came out. So I wanted to give you a close up here of all the details. So we got our little calendar and our candy cane, our baddie pumpkin and our little candy corn and booze sentiment at the bottom and the butterfly, super cool. I love how it turned out. So um, I had Baker's Twine as orange and the Mulberry Rose as an ivory color. And I thought this would be a super cute little piece to add um, to do like a banner. So you could have your banner pieces. You could also use the little tiny tags. And then I have these other um, little tags that I've done as well that could like hang in between. So even it could go something like this. And put these out here just so you have different sizes. Lots of fun, lots of different things you can do. So thank you for visiting me. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Um, and you see still shots of my uh, project on my blog post. Thanks and have a great day.